Greetings. Today I'd like to share my thoughts on my experience since I came home to Wisconsin, as well as our priorities for the New Year's. One of most exciting things happening right now is my visit to local churches and circuits. And I've been to seven circuits and 70 congregations. My journey will continue through 2013 and I hope to visit all of you by this time next year. The cabinet and I are in the process of further strengthening our supervision system. Starting in 2013, the district superintendents will meet one-on-one -on -one with each of the clergies in their districts at least once every other year. These meetings are in addition to all of other contact the cabinet has with the clergy and lay leadership. I am also excited about the development of district strategy teams. On January 19th, the cabinet and others that I've invited will join me in a training session for the district strategy teams. Led by the district superintendents, these teams will identify places to plant new faith communities and justice and mercy ministries, as well as ways to reach new young and diverse people for Christ Jesus throughout Wisconsin. I consider my leadership role in the general church another high priority. I am honored to serve as a president of UMCOR and oversee the outreach of the Our United Methodist Connection wherever there is a disaster requiring a response from us. And as a president of National Korean Plan, I help support the churches in their efforts to serve Korean people in the United States and beyond. And as a leader of Just Peace Ministries for the whole church, I support a network of individuals and congregations who are dedicated to bring forth a culture of just peace to communities, the nation, and the world. I am very glad to offer leadership in this very important ministries. I also wanted to share our priorities for the upcoming quadrennium. As United Methodist, we have four focus areas, and they are also our focus here in Wisconsin. The first, the eliminating disease by improving health globally. The second, engaging with the ministry with the poor, and third, creating new places for new people, and revitalizing existing congregations. And fourth, the developing principle the Christian leaders for the church and the world. Additionally, I invite you to focus on our new fruit producing strategy. We as a Wisconsin United Methodist are moving from a mindset of scarcity to abundance. Knowing that God has richly blessed us and we have much to share. And we are moving from retention to recruitment. Not just focusing on the current ministry and the church members, but rather focusing on those we don't yet know and who we want to invite to share the faith journey with us. So we will imagine God's kingdom together in the community and pursue the new possibilities all over Wisconsin. We are moving to including all God's gifted people and developing strategies to welcome all people and celebrate the wonderful diversity of people here in Wisconsin. I realize that everything that I have talked about takes time.
there are some things you can do now. You can pray for each other, pray for our leaders, pray for our congregations, and please also pray for those who are marginalized and in need. We know we have been created by God to be part of a community, not isolated individuals. So I pray that we will form many partnerships and shared efforts in the years to come. If we do, I know God will bless our efforts and we will see a revitalized United Methodist presence throughout the Wisconsin. I'm grateful for all of the prayers and all those who are working together for good and for God. And a traditional New Year greetings in Korean is 새해 복 많이 받으세요, which means hope you receive a lot of New Year's blessings. I know we in Wisconsin will receive many blessings from God in the new year ahead. This is my prayers. May God richly bless each of us with generosity and purpose in the new year and beyond. Amen. And thank you for sharing this time with me today. We hope you will join us in living the fruit of the Spirit.